What was Rosa Eskenazi's contribution to Rebetico music? She was the first one to really be recorded and distributed, especially in Greece, but also abroad, in masses. But if you ask me personally, what is the importance? I think that um, although there were other great singers with great voices, maybe even better voices than Rosa, but when she opens her mouth to sing, you can hear all the multicultural, cosmopolitan spirit of this lady from her um, hometown of uh, Istanbul to Thessaloniki to Athens, from her Jewish origins, the Ladino language, the Greek, the Turkish. You can hear all this, and this is something unique that you can never hear in other voices. The production um, was a very international production with uh, singers and musicians from many different countries, in many different countries. I think maybe if you ask me what I'm mostly proud of about this film is uh, our ability to connect all these people from Israel, from Turkey, from Greece, the different crews the different technicians, the different artists, musicians that have worked with us in order to uh, make this film, this um, multinational cosmopolitan uh, atmosphere that was um, that is so much felt in the production of the film is basically Rosa's heritage. Because of the nature of this production being a very expensive one, because we had to travel abroad, so we tried to script the film as much as we could. But I think that the, the, our ability to uh, produce this film, to make it uh, in this manner, was only because of the cooperation that we have received from the different protagonists uh, that are portrayed in the film, from the musicians that came in just for the love of uh, Rosa, you know, because if we had to pay all these musicians, that participate in the film, uh, this film would have never been made. Had Rosa Eskenazi been somewhat forgotten before you made the film? Well, the biggest problem I had when I started the, this project was how to tell a story about a lady that has been dead now for 30 years. Almost a kid who didn't have been able to be a popular one, it was one of the biggest tragedies of the city, the Smirnaki School of the Lake, the Sakusti Rosa Eskenazi. And uh, there's hardly any information. Um, we had uh, some interviews that she has done during the 70s and the 60s. Uh, we had very little archive material as far as film archive material, about uh, 18 or 19 minutes uh, exists. And we had still pictures, not too many, but we had. And of course, the 500 songs uh, that she left for us. And then we had to uh, decide how to tell the story. And this is how we came up with the idea of the three musicians. What are some of the stories or the moments in her life that um, you discovered that really stand out? I can say that there are some amazing stories about the way she was, um, uh, she was discovered, sort of say, uh, by Panayotis Tundas, the great uh, Greek uh, composer. I can say that her story during the Second World War in uh, German occupied Athens and her role in the helping the Greek resistance is an amazing story. I think she lived the way she lived, the decisions that she has made in her life about which she paid high prices uh, repeatedly over and over again. In some way you can say she lived before her period. If you were able to ask her one or two questions today, what would you ask her? Watching Rosa's uh, archives, I tried many times to learn something about her, from the way she acted, from the way she was sitting, from her face, from her manieras, you know. Uh, and I think if I had the chance to speak with her, maybe the thing that I would ask her uh, to do is to sing a song for me. Say a few words about um, how Greek audiences usually react to the film. People are sitting, they are singing the whole film, and they are laughing exactly in the right places, and they get very emotionalized because for Greek people, Rosa Ashkenazi is something special. This year and the next year, we are going to tour with the uh, concert with the Rosa Ashkenazi, my Sweet Canary tribute concert. But personally, um, you know, I've discovered a whole new world. This is something for life. 
Η κυρία Ρόζα και η κυρία Ρόζα και η κυρία Ρόζα, βέβαια. Σας ανοίγω το δρόμο. Λοιπόν, πάμε.